What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome my current subscribers and welcome, welcome, welcome newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a, a free general collective reading. Cast aside to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. Um, this is a love reading for the sign of Aquarius. This could resonate if you have Aquarius in any aspects of your charts. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and Midheim, or your charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. Doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. We got tennis awards on the bottom of the deck. Um, just to let you guys know, um, I confirmed my spirit guides, and they said I could do the sign readings, but I can't use spirit messages, so that's going to really, really, really suck, but I'm here doing it. So, Ten of Swords, so some kind of betrayal, some kind of betrayal. I feel that either you have betrayed your partner, or um, either you betrayed your partner, or they betrayed you, or you both betrayed each other. It might, for some, it might be some kind of third party situation, some kind of situationship, or something of that nature. However, that resonates in your life. Spirit messages you have for the sign of Aquarius. I'm feeling for some it could be third parties or situationships. Spirit messages you have for Aquarius. Your messages. Oh, okay. I was going to do five part spread, but I guess I'll do six. Okay. So here's what we got The Harfit Upright, Judgment Reversed, Nine of Swords Reversed, King of Wands Reversed, Queen of Swords Upright, Death Reversed. Um, for some, you could be dealing with the Tauren. For some, you could be dealing with a Scorpio. We have Taurus and Scorpionic energy in here. Um, we also have um, air sign and fire sign energy as well. You plug it in how it resonates. I'm feeling marriage contract in here. I'm feeling marriage contract. But no equal give and take. Um, we have tennis words on the bottom of the deck. So I feel um, there's been betrayal um, for some, both sides, for some, maybe your side, for some, their side. Lack of communication, lack of, there. Might, for some, there might be lack of attraction to your married partner. For some, I feel you're in a marriage because this is love, love reading. For some, I feel you're in a marriage, and I'm just being serious, but I feel you're unhappy in the marriage. I feel for some, you go outside your marriage, and I, I'm so serious about that. I feel for some, you go outside your marriage. I feel for some, you could do online dating sites because we have Queen of Swords. I feel you communicate a lot, possibly, for some with online dating sites, and I'm just being serious about that. Um, I do. I feel you do communicate some online dating sites, or it could be um, actual communication in the 3D world with somebody. Uh, maybe somebody some for some in your community, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, death reverse, marriage is not over, if this resonates. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. Well, not hear anything else. And let me just say, the crappy part about this is I am, I will, I'm getting downloads, but I was told not to use them, so it's really hard not to do it. <laughs> I 
I feel for some you might go soon. For some you might go soon outside your relationship or your partner might. Because we had ten of swords on the bottom of the deck. So for some I feel you're being betrayed in the relationship. For some they are betraying you. Whoever you are though, I think you're very smart, analytical, and, and, and intuitive. I'll tell you that. You're very smart, analytical, and intuitive. Um, you know exactly what you're doing. I'll tell you that. You know exactly what the freak you're doing. Um, for some, it could be your partner that knows exactly what they're doing. But somebody's going outside this marriage. Somebody's married. And it's clear as day in here. Somebody is freaking married, uh, Aquarius, whether um, you're married. Or maybe the person, maybe if you're doing online dating, and for some, if you're single, they could be married. Um, but somebody is. And I am so serious about that. All right, let's pull one of these. Ascending, transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. So for some, you could be single. Some you could be single and you want to get married. And that's why you're going online dating for some or dating in the 3D world. Um, or you're going through an ascension process in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, however that resonates in your life, Aquarius. Three messages you have for Aquarius. Twin Flames. Okay, oh, okay, I just heard outside of marriage can share is what I just heard. Outside of marriage can share. Okay, so I guess I can share this one. I just heard outside of marriage. So um, maybe for one, your twin flame is outside your marriage. Somebody in this situation is married. I heard specifically from Spirit, Spirit I could share that one. So um, for some, your twin is outside your marriage. For some, I feel you're single and you want to get married. For some, I feel you are married. Um, and I feel your partner goes outside the marriage. You go outside the marriage. For some, I feel you could have an open relationship. And I'm just being for real about that. Um, I do feel for some of you guys. Um, but for some, your twin is outside your marriage. You're legally binding marriage contract. Somebody in this um, situation is married. And I'm just being serious about that. Um, and your twin is outside your marriage. Um, yin, yang, zen, balance, union, duality, coupling, complement off each other. Um, so you complement off your twin. Um, I think you, uh, yeah, you complement off your twin, whoever it is. Um, you have to plug this person in your life, how it resonates. For some, I feel you could, um, maybe reconnect with your twin flame soon or, um, find your twin flame. Um, beginning the twin flame connection soon, but you're pulling the twin flame card. Um, just saying, just saying. That was the only message I heard I could share. So um, somebody is married and they have a twin flame dynamic. Their twin flame is outside their marriage contract. Um, so you plug it in. How it resonates? Okay. Let me let me see if, if I have anything else in here. Ooh, okay. I heard cancer can share. Cancer can share. Cancer can share is what I heard. So cancer, um, so maybe some maybe your married spouse has cancer, or they are a cancer, or your twin is a cancer. I heard cancer can share. So however that resonates for you, I feel one of you guys, either your married spouse has cancer, you have cancer. Or your twin flame has cancer or they are a cancer, meaning the zodiac sign cancer or the medical condition cancer. However, that plugs in your life. But somebody is either a zodiac sign cancer. It's obviously not you unless you have cancer in your chart. Um, or they have the medical condition cancer. 
however that resonates. Um, I heard cancer can share. So either your twin has cancer, your married spouse has cancer, you have cancer, or um, your spouse is a cancer zodiac sign. Um, uh, zodiac sign. Just saying, just saying. Or you have cancer in your chart. However that resonates for you. Um, however that resonates. Wow. Okay. Well, I think we're done. All right. Love you guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Namaste.